So, today this, I want to show you how to install iOS 7 on iPhone 5. And here I have uh, iPhone 5 running on SS 8.4.1. So it already checked open. So this one is a. Let's see what chapter it is. Hmm. This is what I bought from my seller in Cambodia, and it already check open. I don't see use ETA soon or something like that, but it untethered check open. So, what you need to install to get it to get on uh, iOS 7 the reason that I install you need Google to untether if you want to visit disable the untether you just hold down during boot turn it back on hold down until it boot to iOS 8 back so if you get error okay I'm turning on and Google to see our eye and this one a profile here you need to install this okay one two three and four so after you install you need the file i will show you so you just type one you are oh it's okay i will link it in description okay here the internet archive still have it Beta one. So you just click it in and scroll down and show all here. Show all. After that, you choose your device. Okay, mine is iPhone 5 GSM here and iPhone 5 CDMA. I also have iPhone 4S and iPhone 4. This my device. You just click on it. The 4S. Just click on it and download right away after you get the file here you get the file iPhone 5 after you get the file you connect your iPhone to iPhone box I will link where to download iPhone box to it put on a uh, window too so I will link in description or so okay so you go to raw file connect your device go to raw file and you select what well, and C booter that you install in CD cool booter CLI okay so click in and just drag your file in and it will copy okay copy right in so yeah so back to your iPhone so back to your iPhone you go to home terminal and Wait, wait. I will put my. I will put the password in first, okay. So, I will start again. Sorry. You go to M terminal. So, what you need to do? Wait, wait. You press SU. Okay, and enter here. Return. So, you need the password. Password is Alpine. A L P I N E return. So now we go to root. So you, it will link to the place where you put your file in the iOS 7 beta 1. Okay, so cool booter, cool booter, C L I. Okay. So space 7.0 B1 return See it's not working for me when I put this code up I can download a new one right. in iPhone 4 it will pick up iPhone 4 it will pick up the local IPS that we just imported in our computer but iPhone 5 
is not cannot pick up the local file so you can still can do it uh, but sadly not is seven beta one it the official beta oh, no no it the official i ios 7.0 so you can download straight straight in this computer you can download straight from google in um, um, terminal c l i and 7.0 if we put like this it will download here See, it will download a file, iPhone 5, iOS 7.0. So this is not beta 1, but the official release. So I will be back when it's done. So this is how it's done. It finished. iOS 7 on iPhone 5 so I choose Cambodia this is Cambodia Wi-Fi let me connect to my Wi-Fi now wait 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 so you can see the keyboard so thin Part. Okay, so enable, set up as new, skip, skip, free. Continue, don't send here. Very thin, so let's go. This is iOS 7. So the the method that I show you, wait, the method the method the method that I show you uh, that you can choose any iOS. Wait, where is? I just upload it. here. I show this one here. For this method, I'm not recommend to, to install iOS 7 on here, on Coolbooter app. You need to do what I did with the Coolbooter CLI. Because I use, I test it already, I use it for 2 or 3 days, okay? But if you in, install iOS 7 on Coolbooter app that I showed you in the last video, Sometimes it will crash and it need you to wipe out the device to make it work again so that is not the best practice so Kubota CLI is the best practice that you can do and it's a what to call guarantee that it's not broken your iPhone okay so this is iOS 7 on iPhone 5 everything look squarish thin and brand new see so how to get out if you don't want to use iOS 7 how, how to get out how to get out to iOS 8 back so what you need to do is this and here the animation is crazy see like a TV 3 2 1 see like a TV so you turn it off you can do that because you install cool booter untether okay so make sure you and you install two tweaks one cool booter CLI the other one is cool booter untether okay so you press to turn on and 
hold down hold the volume down button hold it keep holding it until it show ISA back And when it get to ISA back, you can also ask how can I get in back? How can I get back into IS7? So just turn on your phone or turn off your phone and turn it on and it will boot to IS7 directly, automatically. So now it's back to ISA. So I will show you everything today. So this one is IS8. 0.4.1 okay how to go back on is 7 so here turn it off okay off yet turn it off and turn it back on take time to turn off so turn it back on okay so just leave it on okay just leave it this way and it will automatically boot to IS7 while waiting let me show you this Crazy. So now it's going. Now it's on IS7. Here. So slow. Because it just put up, so. This is IS7.0, the official one. So that's it, guys. If you have spare iPhone 5, go do it. Easy.